it's Groovis Roger. Welcome back to Turn 10 of Dungeon Quest, my personal deluxe edition. And we're running, of course, this is the classic 1987 Dungeon Quest. All right, let's get right into the action here. Again, thank you for joining me. You know, Merry Xmas to you, and um, hope everyone is doing awesome. All right, so first things first, Sun Tracker. Move it up for Turn 10. So the sun is almost completely up. We're coming to mid-game here. And we're going to come to Valric. Remember, he is in the catacombs. He has been finding empty rooms. We're going to cut the deck here. And we've got to find an exit for him to get out. And he finds another empty. So he has, what, six catacomb cards. So he's about one, two, three, four, five, six. So he's right under this room. So if you think of the catacombs, he's kind of under the board. So we're going to move on to... Ulov, Grimhan. Now, he is in a room, and here's we're going to search. What happens with searching is you're allowed to search two times, and then you have to leave the room. Now, we're adhering to the classic rule set, and there's um, and later after the playthrough, we're going to go through the revised edition, how they changed it, but we're going to stick with this rule set so he can search twice. And so we're going to turn him this way. And then we're going to come over here to the search deck, and let's cut it, so you know that, as I told you before, I'm a very honest player. And take the top card, and let's see what he finds. Oh, trap. He found the trap. Come over to the trap deck. You know this isn't going to be good, right? Um, we're just going to shuffle these, and let's just grab this one. And he has trap door. So let's go over here to the reference guide so I can show you what's going to happen from the trap door. Okay. We have to roll the d12. If the result is equal to your agility score or less, you avoid the trap and treat this room as a normal one. If not, you fall through the trap door and lose d6 life points, placing this card face up beside your character sheet. Um, well, let's do this first. So we have to do, we got to take D12 and we have to um, equal to our agility. So um, he is, what's his agility is five. So we have to roll five or less. And we'll see, let's go to the trap door over here as you can see. So five or less. Nope. And so we got to put this by there. So he did fall through. We'll have fell in the trap door. And then we're going to have to roll for what? The damage. If not, you fall through the trapdoor and lose D6 life points. So that's good. He only loses one. And I believe he's going to be trapped down there, and we have to try again next turn. Um, if you fall through the trapdoor, your turn ends. Next turn, roll the D12 again. And basically, we have to roll. We have to get um, five or less to so he can boost himself out. But if we had the rope... And that's a whole nother thing we can get out automatically. So that is what happens with that. So we'll put this right here to remem remind us um, that he's in this trap door. Now the big one here, Eldoran Sure Shot. He is in the Dragon's Chamber. Remember we picked, we have 3,600 gold. That's pretty good. Um, you know, I want to show you something too that they added in the catacombs. And this is what I always go for. Where's this at? Hope you don't mind me like picking this stuff out for you. The Catacombs expansion is awesome and it adds a ton to this game. So check this out. See those two things? It's called the Sunstone and the Moonstone. By themselves, they, these counters have values of 1,100 gold pieces and 700. If you manage to find the pair, however, they have a combined value of 10,000 10, gold pieces, making them the most valuable objects in Dragonfire Castle. I always try to go for these things. I never have, I've gotten one, but I've never gotten both of them. So that would be something on this playthrough to get this. So the Cup of Ashara, remember this is a dungeon relic, 8th century, this was found. Okay. And we get, what do you think about that? I am so lucky playing this game. 700, now if we could get that, that would be awesome. Okay, we get one more dip into the Chalice of Ashara. And we get 
Oh! That's one of the biggest ones in there. 4,500 gold pieces. Now, you know what's going to happen, though? This is really good. This is probably the best I've ever dipped into the cup of Ashara. we got to see if the dragon's going to wake up. So I'm going to reach in here. I'm going to even get down here. See, I'm not cheating. I never cheat at games. And I got one. You ready? Sleeping. I'm getting out of that dungeon. I'm, I'm done in that chamber. I'm bailing. Next turn, I'm out. Okay, guys, look at that. I don't know, should I go? Should I go for the 10, 000, over 10,000 gold? I don't know. I'm going to think about it. Come on back. You know, Sir Rohan died. What turn was it? You guys know. I'm not sure. Okay, turn 10. Done. Come on back. We're going to decide what's going to happen with these guys. And, you know, Valrith is still trapped. All right, guys, this is getting good. Come on back for turn 11. See you soon.